Good day everyone, my name is Teacher Elgis. Today, we will be learning about time. Before we're going to do that, let's sing a song first. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Did you like the song? Good. Now, it's time for our vocabulary. Number one, clock. Spell the word clock. C L O C K. Clock. Number two, hour. H O U R. Hour. Number three, Minute M I N U T E Minute. Okay, now I want you to remember these three words. Now, how do you tell time? Of course, you need to look at the clock. Now, here's the clock there are 12 hours on the clock. The little hand help us to know what hour it is. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. The clock's hand always turns in the same direction. We call this clockwise. Now, it's 3 o'clock. The hour hand has passed 3 o'clock, but it's still not pointing to the next hour. So, we are still talking about 3 o'clock. Now, it's 6 o'clock. The hour hand has passed 6, but it's still not pointing to the next hour. So, we are still talking about 6 o'clock. Now it's 9 o'clock. The hour hand has passed 9 but still not reached to the next hour. So it's still 9 o'clock. Now what hour are we talking about? 2 o'clock. How about now? 5 o'clock. And now? 11. Good! You've got it! There are 24 hours in a day, so the hour hand goes around the clock two times every day. You might wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning and go to bed at 8 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock is a very important hour. When it's 12 o'clock during the day, we call this noon. Any time after this, is called afternoon. 12 o'clock at night is called midnight because it's in the middle of the night. Midnight. It is a magical hour because it's when a new day starts. Now, we also need to know how many minutes have passed. The big hand helps us to know what minute it is. The minute hand has to go all around the clock for each hour. Look at the shape of this clock. It's round like a pizza. Now imagine that you ate half of the pizza. Now you see what that looks like? Now it's half. When half of the hour has gone, the minute hand is pointing straight down. What time it is? It's half past one. What time is it? It's half past ten. When you have a big cookie and there are two people, you break it in half. But when there are four people, you break those two halves in half again, so you can have 
four pieces. Those four pieces are called quarters. When the minute hand going straight out on this side, a quarter of an hour has gone. It's a quarter past two. It's a quarter past six. What time is it? A quarter past eleven. Now, this one is tricky. It's not eight o'clock yet. It's a quarter before the eight or quarter to eight. Now, remember, when the minute hand is pointing on this side, we use the word past. When the minute hand is pointing on this side, we use the word to. There are 60 minutes in an hour. It takes a long time to count to 60, so we skip count by fives. When the big hand goes around the clock, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and back to 0 or 60. You can multiply the hour by 5 to find out how many minutes there are. This clock says 12, 10, or 10 past 12. Let's look at another one. First, look at the hour hand. We're still talking about hour 3. Then, look at the minute hand. 20 minutes have passed. You can count 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's 320 or 20 minutes past 3. Now the hour is 7 and the minute hand is pointing to what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It's 7.45 or quarter to 8. One more. The hour is 5. The minutes is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It's 5.35 or 25 minutes to 6. Now remember, when the minute hand is pointing straight up on 12 and the hour hand is pointing on 3, the time is 3 o'clock. Can you tell what time is it? Did you say 5 o'clock? If so, then you are right. How about this? Did you say 10 o'clock? Then you are correct. And now, did you say one o'clock? Nice work! The hour hand has passed three, and the minute hand is pointing on six. The time is 3.30 or half past three. Can you tell what time is it? Did you say 1.30 or half past 1? Then you are correct. How about this? Did you say 7.30 or half past 7? Then you are right. And now, did you say 10.30 or half past 10? Well done! You got it! The hour hand 
past past 7 and the minute hand is pointing on 3. The time is 7.15 or quarter past 7. Can you tell what time is it? Did you say 5.15 or quarter past 5? Then you are correct. How about this? Did you say 1.15 or quarter past 1? That's right. And now, did you say 9.15 or quarter past 9? Nice work! Now, the hour hand has past 8, but it's still not reached the next hour. So, we are still talking about hour 8. And the minute hand is pointing on 9. So, the time is 8.45 or quarter to 9. Can you tell what time is it? Did you say 5.45 or quarter to 6? Then, you are correct. How about this? Did you say 10.45 or quarter to 11? That's correct. And now, did you say 3.45 or quarter to 4? Nice work. You got it. One last thing. Look, the minute hand is pointing to 5 minutes. Would we say 7-5? No. We always tell there's an O before 5. We say 7 5 Well, I think you've got it. Now, you know how to tell time. When you need to go to school, you'll be there on time. See ya!